preserved duck egg. Taiwan flavor, vacuum fresh. Lead free. <laughs> So here's the egg, <laughs> and it comes shrink wrapped in a little uh, baggie. Okay. How's it smell so far? Nothing overwhelming yet. Doesn't smell bad. It smells like an egg shell, actually. Is that how you do it? It's like, an, it's, it's like Easter. Is it? Thick? Oh, oh. oh man! <laughs> Can you smell it yet? Smells a little bit briny, but that's about the uh, extent oh, of it at this point. <laughs> okay, I think we should rinse this off real fast. Uh, they are buried, they're uh, coated in lye, <coughs> ash, veg uh, salt, <coughs> and uh, then they're buried for 100 days. And uh, when they come out, they're, the shell's petrified. Uh, the white has a nice amber color to it and the yolk turns green and it tastes somewhat like cheese with the, the texture of cheese. <laughs> I heard about this a couple years ago and I kind of thought I would never have one. I'm glad I went back for it. <laughs> the shell is all rinsed off. I changed plates so we get a better look at it. I'm gonna slice it long ways so everybody gets some yolk. Good. I don't I would be so disappointed. Oh, oh, my oh man. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> mm, it doesn't want to slice very well. It's supposed to do something good Dude, for you? Dude, if it's from China, it's probably supposed to be an aphrodisiac. <laughs> Everything wacky over there is supposed to make your dick bigger or harder or hard more often. Uh, Alright. I'm not liking the consistency of that yolk, I'll tell you that's, right that's now. That's what it's supposed to be. Oh, I know. I'm just telling I you, I'm not sure I'm going to like it. It actually... Is not bad. It tastes like, oh wow. It actually tastes like you're eating a cooked egg yolk uh, in, in gelatin. That's just been encased in gelatin. There's not even a bad flavor to it at all. And then there's an aftertaste of seaweed. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> slightly fishy. Yeah, but it doesn't really it doesn't taste to it, which I don't all. usually like in an egg. <laughs> Texture of cheese. <laughs> Come on. Kind of salty too. <laughs> Let's put some of that meat ploy uh, chili sauce on it. Wow, the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not horrible. I think the color is the worst part. It got stuck on my tooth. I'm not a big fan. I'm gonna tell you. Well. I won't be running out to get another one of those. <laughs> but we can also. That's damn sight better than Baloo. I'll tell you that much. It still tastes like fishy <laughs> egg yolk with mud in it. <laughs> That's what they call earthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Get some earthy tones. Uh -huh, get some some earthy stuff. Uh, the sea, the ocean. I can oh, taste man. the ocean in there. Yeah, it's, yeah. So like a, a, a bad oyster? Like. Yeah, a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's in there, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Gelatinous part isn't bad at all. Yeah, it's just the yolk. The yolk I don't like yolks strange. anyway. It looked which looks like pus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's pretty fucking gnarly. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm done with that aftertaste, let me tell you. I need to go get some, I need to go drink some bunch of girls. <laughs> Pickle brine or something to yeah, cleanse my really, palate. Man. Where's that rock salt? It actually, eating a piece with the aftertaste in your mouth actually makes it taste a lot better. Because it makes the aftertaste go away for a second? Yeah, until you need something and like, so you need to eat more like I do now right now to make the shitty aftertaste go away. I think sometimes they say out of the pot and into the frying pan. Uh, and that is very apropos.